I got sued by a debt collector and yesterday my case got dismissed. So let's talk about it. Alexa, play First Day Out by JT. Everybody, it's Markia, aka The Money Plug, aka your credit specialist, favorite credit specialist. And let's talk about what it means when a debt collector sues you, what can you do when a debt collector sues you, and what happened to get my case dismissed. The first thing that you have to understand is the statute of limitations, or how long a company has to sue you for a debt. Now the statute of limitations varies state by state, and it's set by the state that you lived in when you originally signed the contract. So for example, if you lived in Florida and you opened up a credit card and then you moved to Mississippi and then the credit card defaults, charged off, and then they take you to court, it's based on the statute of limitations for the state of Florida, not Mississippi. However, they will file in the county in which you live. As long as the statute of limitations hasn't passed, a company does have the right to pursue you legally for any unpaid debts. Now, just because you receive a court notice doesn't mean that you should instantly pay that debt. They still have to prove that you are obligated to pay the debt in the first place. So what happens when a company decides to take you to court? Likely what will happen is that their lawyers will send you a notification in the mail. Included will be all of the documentation that they submitted to the court as well as an explanation on who they are, what they're suing you for, and when you have to appear in court. Now sometimes people don't get this notice because the debt collectors only have the address that they have on file so if your address isn't updated then you may not receive this notification. And you would think that that would cause the case to be dismissed but that's not the case. If this is the only way that that debt collector has to get in contact with you, then the court is gonna accept that. And if you don't show up to court, then they'll be granted something that is known as an order of default, meaning whatever it was they asked for, they got. A lot of times, some people don't even know they've been sued until they get something known as a wage garnishment, where a debt collector will take a portion of your paycheck every month to pay off the debt that you owe. Now, how much they can take out of your paycheck varies state by state, but the federal law states that they can take no more than 25% of your wages or 40 times the federal minimum hourly wage, whichever one is less. To avoid having your wages garnished because you just never received the notification to appear in court, what I typically tell people is to always, always, always have mail forwarding for any address that you lived at previously where you know you got some debt. Or you could always just randomly check yourself. It's nothing for me to hop on Maryland case search or the case search website for any state that I've lived in previously just to be sure nobody's trying to sue me or I have a court date that I completely forgot about or something like that. Now let's say you do actually receive the notification to show up in court. Now what do you do? The answer is show up in court. It doesn't matter if you reach out to the company or not, you still need to show up in court unless the court itself tells you that no, you do not have to appear. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get the notification that you're being sued is contact that court. Contact the clerk's office for that particular court, give them the case number and ask them to verify that this case is actually being tried there. If they don't have a record of it, then this could just be a scam that someone's using to try and scare you into giving them money. Now, if they do have it, ask for the details, you know, verify the time and the day that you're supposed to appear and verify the company that is taking you to court. Now you do have two options here. You can contact that company directly and set up some sort of payment arrangement or pay the amount in full so that you don't have to go to court. Or you can see this all the way through. If you pay the debt before the court date, then you'll have nothing to worry about. If the court case isn't already dismissed, then you'll just show up in court, they'll say, hey, this person paid, no harm, no foul, and then it'll be over with. Now you don't have to pay, you could just go to court, which is what I chose to do for my particular case. When I got to court, I could tell that they weren't expecting me to show up, but I did. And the judge asked me, you know, what do you wanna do? I said I wanted to fight it. They set another court date for me to appear. After we were dismissed by the judge, uh, the lawyer stopped me, gave me a card, told me they'd be in contact with me if I had any questions. Um, and that was kind of the end of that first initial contact with the lawyer. Now, I had two additional court dates for this particular case and both times it was just continued. Um, one time they didn't show up, one time they asked for additional time to get stuff together. 
my case is unique in the sense that I was out of the country. So I'm not quite sure where they got this credit card from or who was using it in Fayetteville, North Carolina, but it definitely wasn't me. What I did was I provided proof that I was out of the country in the form of my husband's military orders as well as um, transaction history for other accounts showing that I was spending money in Germany, baby. We was balling with the Euros. I had nothing to do with any accounts that were opened in the state of North Carolina. I also had evidence that I sent them multiple letters asking them about this debt and they completely ignored me until they sent me the notification that I was to appear in court. That is a violation of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. A debt collector purchases a debt. Within five days of purchasing the debt, they have to send you something known as a debt notification. This notification lets you know that, hey, we bought this debt from this creditor. It's in this amount. We bought it from this person. If you would like to pay, this is how you get in contact with us. You have 30 days to dispute this. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and just start reporting it. The reason why I know I never received this is because I have mail forwarding through USPS active for any previous addresses that I've lived at. I always keep it active. I renew all of them every year. So any mail that they would have sent to a previous address on file, I would have received it. It may have taken me longer to get it, but I still would have received it. It specifically states in the FDCPA or the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act that a notice to appear in court cannot serve as a debt notification. So they were about to be in some hot water. I took all of the information that I had and submitted it to the court with my defense. But when we appeared in court yesterday, it was somebody new, somebody I had never seen before. Um, and he took me into a conference room and asked me like, hey, can you give me some background on this case? I'm not typically the lawyer who's on it. So in my head, I'm like, that's not my responsibility, but whatever. I was kind of wary, but I knew that I actually had a legitimate case. So I just told him everything. And as we were talking and he was taking notes, um, he agreed with a lot of the things that I was saying. He said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and move for this case to be dismissed. The reason why, and he openly stated he did not have the documentation that I was requesting specifically from them and they did not have time to get it from the creditor, obviously, because we were in court that day, to demonstrate my obligation to pay this debt. Mainly because it was not my responsibility. It wasn't my account. So when we got in front of the judge, the lawyer asked for the case to be dismissed and I am now free from that debt. And the account will be removed from my credit report within 45 business days of receiving notification that the case was dismissed. The worst thing that would have happened from my case is that I would have had to pay. And for a lot of you who receive these debt notifications and hurry up and pay anyway, that's not a bad thing. The best possible outcome if you do go to court is that you don't have to pay and it comes off your credit. And it's not like you had to lie to make it happen. The burden to prove that you are obligated to pay this debt lies on the creditor, not you. So if they can't prove it to you or to the court, then you won't have to pay it. And what the court said is law. What I want you to take away from this video is that just because you receive a court notice does not automatically mean that you lost. You still have the opportunity to fight in court to force them to prove that you are obligated to pay this debt. I'm not a consumer lawyer, so I can't give you advice on your case, but if you have questions about my case or any questions regarding how judgments and things like that affects your credit, drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them for you guys. Or you could just follow me on TikTok where I post the vast majority of my content.